So let's talk facts. <laughs> and the facts of the matter are there's more women on this earth than men. So the fact that there's not a lot to choose from if we really get really serious and society has painted this picture that the men are the choosers. So I think sometimes for women, we get it twisted too. And we just get so happy that we got chose, um, you know, considering there's so many other women out there that are trying to get chose too, that we settle. Similar to Kiera, who says, I don't like guys whistling at me, but something inside of you let that man come back and give you his number. The same with me. I, I always say, oh, I would never, I would do that. I've done so many things I said I would never do. Just mm -hmm. and behind a man, because I was chose, I was him. And also I've been in places where I knew there was other potential women too. And then you really feel like you have to bend for him because you're trying to make sure you are the chosen one out of he, all the girls he's dating. And so, uh, although yes, I do believe in that clip and I believe that like you just said, Keandra, it takes once you peel yourself and know that you are the prize, that's when you can really have that mentality. But I think most of the women out here walking in this world don't have that mentality. They're just out here trying to get chose. They're out here on these dating apps. They're out here in these bars buying themselves drinks at the edge of the bar trying to get a man's attention. I mean, it's COVID, but I'm saying pre-COVID. And I'm saying this is what these this is what our reality is. There's more women out here trying to choose up on one man, probably like 10 women to every man trying to choose up on him. And that gives them the power. And that's why men play these manipulative little games. Uh, like Cyrus was saying, they're able to do this because they know that. They know that multiple women are like baiting them and feeding them and trying to do this. So I don't know. I just came from a different perspective because I just don't think that that's our reality out here. There's there's a man shortage. There just I, is. Think I relate okay, to this I thought there was a lot of men out here. <laughs> I, no, and, and what I was going to actually speak to that because I can totally relate, Cookie. I'd often say to a lot of friends, especially for those of us who live in LA, I feel like we all will experience a season where we can feel invisible. And I don't know what it is about LA that does that. But oftentimes what I'll say is like, oh, just go visit another city real quick and then come back. But what I found when I was in that place of feeling like there was, you know, basically feeling like because of the shortage that basically I had to entertain every opportunity. It mm -hmm. wasn't until I actually healed my mm -hmm. mindset mm -hmm. that the type of man that I was attracting became different mm -hmm. until the pool actually opened up and mm -hmm. I was able to see other men that I wouldn't otherwise see. And so there really isn't that shortage and, you know, the narrative that I think mm -hmm. sometimes it's put on us to feel like, you know, we have to basically accept the status quo and just the crumbs and, you know, be in co competition with another beautiful woman when that's really not true. You know what I mean? Like, and so it wasn't until I was able to heal some of that insecurity within myself that there really was no shortage. Like I've mm -hmm. been able to be selective for years because I was able to clear, mm -hmm. you know, and settle that worthiness within myself. But, um, but, you know, there. In numbers, you're absolutely right. There are definitely more women than there are to men. Um, but I don't know, like, at least in my experience, it seemed like once I was able to heal a particular thing within myself, then my experiences reflected something different. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> needed a moment. But like, um, but like, but I'm I'm sure you're able to be alone too. See, and there's oh, not a yeah, lot of women absolutely. who are able to be alone. Like you said, yeah. you're in the season of choosing. Well, you got to be alone sometimes to be in a season of choosing. And yeah. I'll say for myself, this was a, probably the longest time I've been alone in my whole life because I always thought I needed a man. Like I always thought I needed a man there. I always thought I needed it. And it wasn't until I had to be by myself. Now I'm in that space. Now I'm like, oh, you want this? Nah. Oh, you want? Nah. No, you're not worthy because I've already I've already been around that before. But it took, like you said, Keandra, being able to be alone and be in that space to know that you can choose. If not, you're gonna give whatever is given to you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Exactly. No, mm -hmm. I agree. And I love that. Key Renee, you had said something and I want to hear your perspective about you were like, I thought there was a lot of men. So I want to hear that. Perspective <laughs> yeah, before yeah. I, share mine. 
I thought it was too many. No, <laughs> uh, but, um, too many single ones. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're all, I don't know, it's so many. But like, um, I feel like, and I, I relate to what Keandra was saying too, but I, I definitely feel like when you do understand how worthy you are, a different type of men arrive in front of you. So maybe that is why you might feel that there are a plethora of men who are maybe in that that mind space that you've been desiring because you kind of understand who you are now. So I, and I do understand that you attract who you are. So whatever you're projecting is what's going to come to you. So if you're projecting good vibes, good energy, and you're, you're, you're very clear on what you want, those things are going to come towards you. Um, but I also do think that, of course, women are, you know, I don't know, necessarily want to be chose, but there's this idea that you're supposed to, like, be a wife or, you know, get have married, have kids, do all these things that we're all told we're supposed to do. So I think sometimes women do try to force that to happen for themselves because society pushes it on us or whatever. But um, with maybe it could you know, hinder people from finding their wholeness and finding themselves because they're trying to chase this idea of what wholeness looks like because society's telling you that. So maybe you will conform and be chasing that one successful man in the whole party with 12 females trying to cap on this one guy, but not understanding that there's a million of them out there. And I, I may, I come up from a mindset of feeling there's a million men out here. Like, I, I, I don't think there's a shortage. I think there's a lot of men, a lot of men who are exactly in the category that you're looking for. You're just not looking in the right places. And I think that's where sometimes the, the glitch happens is maybe for women where you're chasing in the wrong pool. And so, therefore, you feel that the pool is overcrowded because you just need to get out of that pool and you need to go over to the pool at the W Hotel. No, I'm just <laughs> right, right. We can't be up in a little... Uh, no, you don't want to be at the W. Now. You want to be oh, at a oh, private this, pool party. Area, uh, you, need to go to a, you need to get to another pool, like, you know? Um, and I, and I think that's either. just what it is. Because um, me, personally, I, I feel like there's an overstorage of men and, and it's too many of them. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and I wanted to just give a shout out to the chat real quick. What's up, Rhonda? I miss you in person. She said, yes, Keandra, pal, okay? <laughs> because many women aren't full. Many of us are on empty and unfulfilled, and I have to agree. Um, and that does, that's what I was going to say when I was first thinking that. I was like, I haven't had that thought in a while. Like, maybe statistically women outnumber men, but we've all, we've, each one of us said a part of the solution in all of our answer. It's like, you know, one, it would, it, it's more of a lack mentality to think that there, that there's not enough, but additionally, it's like, okay, so this person's healing at this rate, this one's here, how we line up in our healing and our time, you know, timing is everything and how we align in our frequency. I think that's what's, what, um, is going to get us to where we're going. Cause even Key Renee, you said, you know, everybody could be chasing after this one person, but it's like a certain amount of time go by and four of the other people in the room are now just as successful as that other person or whatever. So I just think the way that we're meeting up with people and the timing of, of, and what we believe and how we stand and what we're able to deal with, I think it all works out because the, at the end of the day, all of us just want one man. There are billions of people on this planet. I just refuse to believe that because all the all of the girls chasing this one type of dude, I've never been into that. Ne the girls, sometimes they don't be about much. And at the end of the day, the dude don't be about much. So do I really care that, you know, he's not available? No, because I really don't want him. I w let's let him entertain all of that. Let's let these girls who just are suckling at that teat go there. And I am cool with spending a, a season of singleness and doing what I have to do because it's much more about alignment for me as opposed to having a man. So 